ladies and gentlemen, an American family. Well, the film is about a documentary series that was made in the early 70s um, <clears throat> called An American Family, and it was the very first time that uh, a normal, average, run-of-the-mill family had allowed cameras in to their home. You said I'd be next door to you. Why am I up there? They shot over 300 hours of film over a long period of time. It was edited down to 12, so of course there's sort of specific moments were chosen and, and played, which kind of gave a manipulative air to the sort of supposedly completely naturalistic and truthful representation of these people, which now is just, I think it's very interesting that they're telling this film now because we are so inundated with reality television and so much of it is just a, a, a bold-faced manipulation that it's amazing that there was a, a time not too long ago when this idea was shocking and controversial. There's a camera! My God, a camera! Lance Allowed was the eldest son of the family and he was the very first openly gay figure really in, in sort of pop culture, at least in television. Mom, I'm, I'm coming home. He was this really unique young guy, you know, he sort of had this very specific voice and this very specific kind of um, cadence to him that of, of what I assume he felt was sort of star quality, because out of probably all the family, he was the one that was most inviting for the attention and the cameras and sort of putting on a performance. Um, and of course it ended up not, I don't think, exactly going how he'd planned or hoped for or intended. For the very first time, Pat and her husband, Bill, are living separately after Patty 20 Loud years of marriage. Patty sees no way out of a false marriage except booze. Please, Lance. Hold up, listen to this. Lance oozes his leech-like homosexuality. I sort of had a decision to make of whether I wanted to do my interpretation of Lance or really try and, and recreate him and, and be him as much as possible. Of course, that one's riskier, but I went with that choice. And so I just watched every piece of footage I could get of him. I love it here, Mom. I wish I could stay at the Chelsea <laughs> forever. You really never felt at home in Santa Barbara, did you? 